The purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you can act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first, as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, the MVivo interface consists of four areas. The Navigation view, which groups the elements of your project into areas. Each area provides access to the components stored there. The List view, which lists the contents of the area within the Navigation view that is currently selected. List views have columns showing information about the components therein. Detail views, which display the contents of components when you open them in tabbed windows. And finally, the menu tabs and their associated ribbons, providing access to different functions. We can see the four main areas of the NVivo interface displayed on the screen. The navigation view is down the left hand side. The list view, in the middle of the screen, the detail view on the right hand side, there's currently nothing there as I haven't opened anything yet, and across the top the main menu tabs and their associated ribbons, and the NVivo for Mac main menu drop downs. So let's start with the navigation view. You can see that folders are sorted into different areas, data, codes, Cases, Notes, Search and Maps. These areas allow you to access components that are stored within folders within them. At the top level we have system folders. So for example in the data area we have the files, file classifications and external system folders. Under codes we have nodes. Under cases we have the cases system folder, the case classifications system folder and under Notes we have Memos, Annotations and Memo Links. These system folders are created automatically by NVivo and cannot be renamed, deleted or moved. However, underneath each system folder we can create our own folders to store components according to type. So for example, if I open up the File system folder under the Data area, you'll see that in this sample project the researchers have created subfolders to organise the data files. The same is true in other areas in this project, for example under Nodes we have Autocode Responses and under Cases we have user-specified folders to organise the different units in this analysis. The navigation area is always on view in NVivo 12 for Mac, but it can be resized to provide more or less space as required. The List View area in the middle of the screen displays the components stored within each folder. So we're currently looking at the files stored within the main top level file system folder. But if we move to the interviews folder, then we see all of the files stored within that folder. And the same is true for any area in the navigational view. List views contain various columns containing information about the components within each folder. So again, if we just flick back to the Interviews folder, we can see, for example, the file Barbara, which is an interview transcript, has currently got 42 nodes contained within it and 198 coded references. Columns can be moved to rearrange the display and each folder relating to different areas in the project has different columns. The detail view on the right hand side of the screen will display the content of an opened component. So for example if I open Barbara's file then we'll see on the right hand side the content of that transcript. We can open several different detail views at the same time and they don't necessarily need to be of the same type. For example I can go to nodes and open up a node, I can go to the cases area and open up a case. Once I've opened up different components in the detail view, they will be accessible to flick between in the open items list at the bottom of the navigation view. If I want to close a detail view, I just click on the cross icon. And I can reopen it at any time, of course. Depending on the component type that we've opened in the detail view, we have various different options for displaying the content. 
Here we're in a case, for example, and the default is the reference view, showing us all of the references that have been coded to this case previously. If you want to get an overview of the content, then we can just choose the summary tab at the top here, and that gives us an overview in a list relating to this case. If we're in a source, then we can choose to display the view in various other ways. For example, we can turn on the coding stripes. I'll just take all nodes coding for Barbara's file. And that will show us in the margin all of the nodes that have so far been applied to this transcript. If I click on one of the colored stripes, it will highlight the references that have been linked to this node throughout the source. I can also turn on highlighting in a different way by choosing the code that I want to see using this option here. So at the moment we've got real estate, I can take that one off and choose other nodes according to my preference. The default layout is to have the detail view on the right hand side of the screen, but we can change that to have it display on the bottom using the view main menu here, detail view at bottom, and depending what you're doing at any given moment, you may change that whenever you feel the need. Across the top of the screen are the main menu tabs and their associated ribbons of the functions. You'll see as I move across that some of the functions are greyed out, for example new node, existing nodes, because I'm not currently in the, in the right list view to make that function available. So these are context specific. As well as the main menu tabs, we've got the NVivo for Mac main menu drop downs, which also allow us to access the functions that we may need. You'll see that the main menu tabs in the ribbon view don't fully replicate the main menu drop downs at the top of the screen. So for example, at the top of the screen, we have the additional NVivo 12 main menu drop down, which allows us to access various things about our NVivo installation including the preferences. These preferences relate to your whole NVivo installation. In addition, in the file main menu drop-down, we can also go to project properties and that allows us to change different aspects relating to this particular project. As well as using the main menu tabs and ribbons, we can also right click on components in order to access actions. So for example, if I right click on a node, then I can see a list on the right hand menu of all the actions that I can take on that node. You'll notice that depending on which component you're right clicking on, you will get different actions to choose from. It's also worth experimenting with right clicking in the empty list view area because you get different actions there and again when you select some data in a detail view and right click on it then you get various actions that you can take. So right clicking in different areas of the NVivo project is a good way to become familiar with the actions that you can take on the various components in your project. As we've seen, there are various ways that we can customise the view, and these can principally be accessed from the view main menu. So do become familiar with the view main menu and, its, and the functions in the ribbon, as this will allow you to customise your view in various ways.